big guy who scored for Chattanooga was Nikias Dokes with four points. So they've got to get some production from Hartwell and Gwynn and also Watts. They were scoreless in the first half. The problem with Hartwell is that he already has three fouls and had a sit for a major portion of the first half. This is Dokes, the big man number 34 from Chattanooga in the traveling blue. App State in the home white. And there's a foul against App State. They grabbed Dokes' shirt as he was trying to post up in the mid-post area. That was Jeremy Clayton called for the foul. This is Kedrick Mays, and open three is down. If they ever needed one to start the half, there it was. Cuts it to 11. Good out-of-bounds play by Coach Schulman. A screen on the top of the key for Kedrick Mays, and he buried it. Appeared to catch App State a little bit off guard. Right there is Thompson with the answer. Coach Schulman really concerned about his defense. Not aggressive enough, not taking away three-point shots, not getting back in transition. There they gave another open pop for D.J. Thompson. Inside, Hartwell backing in. Misses, Clayton the board. Up ahead to Scott. Tracks it down, but saves it right to Chattanooga and Kedrick Mays. Long. Good. Tough shot. Got fouled in the process by Scott. And that'll be his third foul. Very uncharacteristic pass by E.J. Thompson on that previous fast break. Demetrius Scott really didn't see. He was just trying to get into a lane in the area up the court for some freedom. And D.J. Thompson led him by about a mile and a half. So uncharacteristic turnover for D.J. Thompson. He doesn't make too many of those. Hood goes to the foul line for two shots. A 68% free throw shooter has the first. Four points for Ricky Hood and Coach John Schulman trying to get back into this one. Started with a three-pointer from Kedrick Mays and now two free throws from Ricky Hood who has five points. Keep going low to Clayton, gets the cutter Scott against Hartwell, lays it up and in, and the foul. Every time they get double teamed in the low post, App State burns Chattanooga by cutting players to the basket. That time Clayton got double teamed, Demetrius Scott alertly went from the top of the key on a hard give and go cut and basket. There he scores and goes to the foul line for the old fashioned three point play. They must have practiced this for a couple days, had to beat the strong double teams by Chattanooga. It's working with precision. Demetrius Scott misses the free throw, almost had the rebound. He is now four of five from the free throw line tonight. And because of the fourth foul, Khalil Hartwell has to sit down. Bernard Lowndes in the game for Chattanooga. 41-27, App State on top. Good turnaround. Bound, battles for the board. It goes out of bounds. He was fighting with Lowndes. It'll be App State ball. They try to post the 5'8", D.J. Thompson, Ricky Hood, who had gotten fouled on the previous play, went into a post situation, missed the turnaround jump shot, but good ploy by Chattanooga to try to post the small point guard, D.J. Thompson. Here comes App State, head coach Houston Fancher has been an assistant here since 1996. His head coach lost in the SoCon Tourney semifinals two years ago and last year. Looking over for Buzz Peterson, who won a SoCon title in 2000 before leaving for Tennessee. Missed by D.J. Thompson, good offensive rebound by Davis Brown, keeps the ball alive, gives App State another possession in a new 35 second clock. Kevin Brand. Thompson. Brand for three. Brand is money from three. He doesn't play like a rookie or a freshman. He's just a high percentage player. Hits 44.6% behind the arc. Hood leans in. Brand for the rebound. Clayton double team. Thompson has a three and makes it. 17 points for Thompson. When App State also beat uh, Virginia Commonwealth, a great team from the Colonial Athletic Association on the road. The San Juan Championship wins like that against VCU on the road give them confidence, so they're almost unbelievable here at home. Again, they've only lost six games 
in the last three years at the home center. Their largest lead is 20, goes to 22. Off the glass, Thompson, 19 points. And John Schulman needs a timeout in the worst way as Thompson props the crowd. He's got five three-point baskets, 19 in all, eight here in the second half of the early going. It's four rebounds and three assists, but now on a 10-0 run to begin the second half. Thompson averages 5.3 assists. That's good enough for fourth in the Southern Conference. He really does it all for App State. Long, top of the key, the dribble drive. Kick off to Hood for three, and he knocks it down. Good offensive basketball. Casey Long, good dribble, two defenders. He hit Ricky Hood for a nice open shot in the left corner. Eight points for Ricky Hood, his second three-point bucket of the ball game. 16, 15 to go. See how UT Chattanooga responds after Coach Shulman's timeout. Down by 19 for Clayton. The pass was intended for Clayton, hit the backboard. Here comes Kendrick Mays. Inside the Dokes, looking for the jam, got blocked away by Clayton. Dokes finally does jam it, but well after the whistle, and there'll be a foul against App State. Great passing transition by Kedrick Mays. Dokes missed the bunny, got his rebound, and got fouled while he was still on the floor. So it'll inbound from underneath the basket with App State playing match man defense in this situation. DJ Thompson called for his second foul of the game. Gwynn enters. Lounds, number 32 leads. Mays, deep three. He's got it. Great double screen by Chad Hogan. Good out of bounds play. Mays hit a three on an out of bounds play earlier in this half. Now they set two screens for him. It opened him up and he knocked it down. All switch. Third three pointer for Kedrick Mays. 13 points on the night. 49 33 at stake. Side, bound, double team. Looking for Cranford. Into the corner to Brand. Absolutely taking it its time. Shot clock inside of 10. Now it's 7. Thompson. Brand had to throw it up from the corner. Missed everything. It'll be a shot clock violation against that State. Some better defense after the timeout by UT Chattanooga. Coach Fancher doesn't like it, though. He's going after his freshman, Kellen Brand. 15-12 to go in the game. 49-33. App State with the lead. UT Chattanooga with the ball. Trying to make a comeback. 